Hey you guys, I wanted to make a video about a dream that I had that God gave me because, you know, I ain't gonna lie, I've always liked watching scary movies since I was a kid, but you know, I've stopped watching them for the most part. Sometimes I slip up, but most of the time I don't watch them. Um, um, this new movie called The Grudge is coming out, which it isn't a new movie, it's actually a rendition, American rendition of the Japanese horror movie, The Grudge. And <laughs> like the first thing I thought when I saw the trailer was like, dang, I want to go see that. And then like literally that night I had a dream about that, that movie. In the dream, um, I saw two Japanese boys watching the movie, the Grudge movie. And um, after shortly after watching the, the movie, they were haunted by the spirit in the Grudge movie whatever demon that that is attached to these, the, that movie because of, um, I believe that the story of the grudge actually has some truth to it and stuff like that. Anyways, um, in the dream, the little boys are being haunted by the spirit from the movie. And if you, I'll, I'm going and I'll show you what that looks like. But you know, it, it was a Asian lady with long black hair, really pale, making that weird croaking noise. Um, and basically God was showing me that that movie has spirits attached to it. It has a spirit specifically attached to it. And you know, don't go see, because if you go see it, you might have to deal with the spirit that comes with that. Um, and that goes for a lot of the movies that we see. There are some truth to some of these scary movies that they're that they're showing us on on the TV and stuff like that. There's there's truth to it. That look look at the backstory behind the grudge, and you'll find that there actually is a real story behind it. And um, they're basically attaching these evil demonic spirits. And make, putting them and make, be, praying them onto these movies and stuff. I promise you, like you know, and God basically was warning me, like, don't go see that movie. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna, re I'm gonna listen, you know. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to put this video out here. I haven't been making a lot of videos lately because I'm in the middle of moving. And and if you've ever moved before, you know that that is a long, drawn out process. It's a long process and um, I'm not, I'm moving out of the United States. So yeah, um, I told God I didn't want to be in the United States, main, the mainland of the United States anymore. And I, he opened up opportunity for me to leave and I'm leaving. So yeah, so uh, I'm really excited and looking forward to my new life um somewhere else I, I might talk about it um i might vlog a little bit of my new place and my new area and stuff where i'm gonna be living but again i'm still staying focused on god i ain't gonna lie i've been going through a lot but god's taking care of me he said he has my back oh i want to talk about that so i was feeling so distraught so upset about you know everything and how my family have been treating me and stuff like that and I was driving in this random church literally random out of nowhere this sign that said God has your back and then I turned on the radio and this radio station never works this Christian radio station never works and the guy and the guy was saying like God is with you so don't go back and I was like word God has just been trying to talk to me and uplift me and give me encouragement because I've been down even though I have all these amazing dreams and stuff sometimes like life is is always trying to break you down people always have something to say about you and even your family's always talking bad about you every time they want me to be around them but they always talking a mess about me and like they get mad when I get frustrated with what they're saying about me and stuff and it's just really really hard y'all it's 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 really really hard sometimes like when you you're trying your best and then they can't help but 
put you down or bring up your past or this and that and make you feel bad about yourself like they they try to make me feel bad about myself but then they want me to be around and I'm just like sometimes I don't even want to be around anymore that's why I'm leaving like I don't I, I've always wanted to move here and I'm going to move <laughs> like I'm not, and like God opened up opportunity I actually my landlord was actually here in Florida you know and I got to meet her. How was that happen? Like, oh, shit, I'm just happened to be in Florida in the same state, in the same city you're in. Oh, you can meet me. I can show you pictures and this, isn't that? And then it's highly affordable. So I'm just like, God just was opening up doors for me, like left and right. And like, I was like, you know what, God? And what's funny is I declined the offer at first. And then every other thing, I, and I, anywhere else I tried to go in the States, things kept happening, things kept not going through. And I ended up calling back that, that lady and she just happened to be like, yeah, it's still open, it's still available. The, the place is still available for you. And I was like, and she's a Christian. I was like, and then I was like, you know what? Okay, I put my deposit down and that was it. And then now, you know, bye bye united states <laughs> like that's how i feel right now like bye don't miss you won't miss you <laughs> not coming back i promise you i already said i already told god i ain't coming back i'm not coming back um i'm not really i'm not and people be like well you're running i'm like i'm not running from anything if god opened up opportunity for me to go because i asked i i asked god for this opportunity and he opened up the opportunity and he didn't allow me to go any other way i tried to find a place here and everywhere i went it was just problems after problems and then that lady, the, the availability just happened to just still be waiting for me and i was like okay okay god so i'm really excited really excited my daughter really excited my husband really excited so yeah everything is okay everything is it's not smooth but god never said it was gonna be easy you know all right love you guys bye